Hi and welcome to Economics Week 17. So this week we will be speaking about the evolution of electronic banking, which stands as a testament to the transformative impact of technology on finance, from reshaping traditional practices to redefining the role of financial institutions. Electronic banking has become integral to the free enterprise system. So in this week's exploration, we dissect its development, the pivotal role of investing, the functions of financial intermediaries, and the critical analysis of liquidity, return, and risk, concluding with an examination of bond characteristics. So we're going to start with electronic banking or online banking. Uh, it is a manifestation of technology, technological advancements. It has emerged as a cornerstone in the financial sector. So from simple online transactions to encompassing a spectrum of services, electronic banking provides uh, customers with unparalleled access to their financial assets. So this evolution has not only enhanced convenience for consumers, but has also redefined the operational paradigms of financial institutions. We'll then be talking about investing and its contribution to the free enterprise system. So investing stands as a catalyst within the free enterprise system, acting as the lifeblood that fuels economic growth. So by channeling capital or money to businesses and enterprises, investors facilitate innovation, job creation, and overall economic prosperity. This symbiotic relationship underscores the interconnectedness between investment activities and the vibrancy of the free market. Now we'll move on uh, later to um, financial institutions and their roles as intermediaries. So the web of financial transactions is very intricate and it's woven together by various institutions. These institutions serve as some sort of middlemen between savers and between borrowers. So think of banks, think of credit unions and investment firms. Um, these firms play a crucial role in capital allocation, providing a conduit for the flow of funds. So this intermediary function not only enhances economic efficiency, but also contributes to the stability of the financial ecosystem. We'll then talk about liquidity, return, and risk, and risk, excuse me, uh, which form the bedrock of financial decision making within the free market enterprise. So maintaining liquidity ensures the seamless functioning of financial markets, while investors navigate the delicate balance between seeking returns and managing risks. Um, this analysis of those three key areas is paramount for individuals and institutions alike as they navigate the dynamics of the financial landscape. Finally, we will speak about bonds as financial assets. So bonds uh, encapsulate specific characteristics that distinguish them within the realm of investment instruments. They're issued by governments, corporations, or municipalities. Uh, bonds offer fixed interest payments defined maturity rates and varying risk profiles. Understanding these characteristics is imperative for investors seeking to make informed decisions in the diverse landscape of financial assets. So to conclude, um, in navigating the complexities of the financial landscape, the synergy between electronic banking, investing, and financial intermediaries is evident. So understanding as well the dynamics of liquidity, return, and risk is crucial for informed decision making. Bonds with their unique features add depth to the investor's toolkit. In this ever-evolving ecosystem, adaptability and a nuanced comprehension of these elements are essential for a sustained economic vitality. So I hope that this has been an informative introduction I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.